Hello guys, welcome to Tips, a platform for textile problems and solutions. Now we are going to learn about the numericals on moisture in textiles. If moisture regain percentage and moisture content percentage of a fiber are the same, then the value of moisture regain percentage is asked. So the solution is, we know that moisture content equals to moisture regain upon 1 plus moisture regain by 100. So given that moisture regain equals to moisture content, so let it be x. So substituting x in the above formula, we will get 1 plus x upon 100 equals to x upon x that is 100 plus x by 100 equals to 1 so the value of x will be 100 minus 100 that is 0 if moisture content of a fiber is 10 percentage its moisture regain percentage is asked so solution is we know that moisture regain equals to moisture content upon 1 minus moisture content by 100 so substituting moisture content as 10 percentage we will get moisture regain value as 10 upon 0.9 that is 11.11 percent at 65 percentage relative humidity and 20 degrees celsius temperature the moisture regain of fibers follows the order that is here given wool nylon 6 cotton and polyester we have to arrange the fibers according to their moisture regain values so we know that wool has 17 percentage moisture regain and nylon 6 has 4 percent cotton has 8.5 percent and polyester has 0.4 percent so by arranging we will get Wool greater than cotton greater than nylon 6 greater than polyester. So answer is option B. 100 kg of 67 part 33 polyester cotton blended yarn with 4% moisture content is shipped. The standard moisture regain value of polyester and cotton are 0.4% and 8.5% respectively. The correct invoice weight is approximately asked. So for finding the correct invoice weight, the solution is we have to find the first resultant regain of fibers. So resultant regain equals to 0.67 that is 67% of polyester multiplied by its regain that is 0.4 plus 0.33 that is 33% of cotton multiplied by its regain value as 8.5 we'll get 3.073 as resultant regain. We know that moisture content equals to amount of water upon total weight of the material multiplied by 100. So we know that moisture content is 4% as given and total weight of the material is 100 kg by substituting we will get the amount of water as 4 kg for finding woven dry weight we will minus the total weight of the material by its weight of water so that is 100 minus 4 that is 96 kg is the woven dry weight of the material correct weight invoice weight formula is woven dry weight multiplied by 100 plus regain upon 100 that is 96 multiplied by 100 plus 3.073 upon 100 that is 98.9 is the correct invoice weight.